To multiply a number by 10, we're going to move the decimal point one place to the right. The first thing we need to do is find the decimal point. If you can't see it, it's at the end of the number, so the decimal point is here for this question. Now I move it one place to the right. There's nothing under here, so it needs to be a zero, so I'm going to write 70. And because the point is now at the end of the number, I don't write it. When we're multiplying by 10, we always move the decimal point to the right because we want the number to get bigger. For this question, the decimal point is here. If I move it one place to the right, I then have nothing under here, so it's going to be a zero again. The point's at the end, so I don't include it. For this one, the decimal point is here. We move it one place to the right and it lands at the end, so we're not going to include it. Now this gives us 0.4, but we don't write the zero, the answer is just 4. Here's the decimal point. Move it one place to the right and it lands in between the 5 and the 6, so we have 25.6. When we multiply a number by 100, because there are two zeros, we move the decimal point 2 to the right. So, for example, if I want to multiply the number 3.57 by 100, I will move the decimal point 1, 2 places to the right. It's at the end of the number, so it's 357, and the decimal point can be left out. When we multiply a number by a thousand, we move the point three places to the right. So, for example, 2.6 times a thousand, move it once, twice, three times. There's nothing here and here, so they need to be zeros, so it's 2,600, and the decimal point is at the end, so it can be left off. Here are some questions for you to try. Press pause and have a go at them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Here are some more for you. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. And some more for you. Press pause and try them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. In these questions, I want to divide by 10. When we divide by 10, we want the number to get smaller, so we're going to move the decimal point one place to the left. The decimal point is here for this question, and I'm going to move it one place to the left. That means that it's now here. So I have 0.7. We're not allowed to leave our answer like this because the point might look just like a speck on your paper. So you need to make sure you put a zero in front of it. The decimal point is here and when I move it one place to the left, it lands in between the three and the two. So my answer is 3.2. Move the decimal point one place to the left and it's here. So we have 0 0.04, but once again, we need to put a zero in front of the point. Move it one place to the left, and we have 0.256. Don't forget to put the zero at the front. When we divide by 100, because of the two zeros, we move the decimal point two places to the left. When we divide by a thousand, because of the three zeros, we move the point three places to the left. Here are some questions for you. Press pause and have a go at them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Some more questions for you. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. And some more for you. Press pause and try them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers.
Finally, here's a mixture of questions for you. Press pause and have a go at them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. And here are the answers for those. 